Right now at 6, a dangerous situation is unfolding just off of I-20 at Capitol Avenue. You're looking live from Sky Fox 5 as a stolen car dangles over the interstate after the end of a dramatic chase. This is exclusive video of that chase involving the Georgia State Patrol and a stolen SUV. This ended when the SUV crashed through a security fence right off of Capitol Avenue. Right now, one person is in custody. Another's in the hospital as fire crews work to get that that car off of the embankment. Let's get right out to Fox 5's Jacqueline Schultz. And Jacqueline, you got there right as this came to an end, and this is still a very active scene at this hour. Yeah, and actually what crews are doing right now, as you can see behind me, we're in an overpass right now over the downtown connector. As you look from Sky Fox 5, what they are doing is trying to get that stolen vehicle off of the embankment wall. Uh, what you're seeing here is this is the on-ramp onto the downtown connector northbound. They're trying to get that vehicle uh, out of the area so it can't fall on any cars. That, by the way, is shut down for now. If you take a look at this cell phone video, this is our cell phone video as myself and my photojournalist Aon Nettles were driving on I-20 westbound and all of a sudden, uh, we can't tell how fast it was going, but the stolen car flew by us, almost tipped our truck over and was weaving through traffic almost in the height of rush hour. This was all happening at about 4.40 p.m. Then as you take a look at this next video, this is the aftermath of the crash off of Capitol Avenue, where crews surrounded uh, the vehicle that was hanging off the embankment, trying to make sure that no one else was stuck in that vehicle and taken out. From what I'm told, uh, one woman is in the hospital, was taken to the hospital. A man is still on the run. Firefighters say that there were possibly three to four people in that car. Right now, the goal is to make sure that other drivers are safe and out of harm's way of this hanging vehicle. Traffic down below is stopped. The extra ramp is blocked. We have a fire truck and APD units down there blocking the roadway. No one's standing under the vehicle at this time. It's up against a tree, but there is a possibility once we start to move it that it could possibly go down, but it's in a safe area. There's no one down there up under the vehicle right now. So for drivers out there, Capitol Avenue heading southbound is shut down while they're working to get this car out of the way. Also, uh, getting onto I-75 northbound from I-20 is shut down. We're going to stay on this developing story throughout Fox 5 News at 6, but for now, we're reporting live Jacqueline Schultz, Fox wow, 5 News. Amazing that you saw all of that unfold as it happened. Jacqueline, thanks. And, and we're watching now as crews get that car off of the embankment uh, carefully. Obviously, they don't want it to crash down onto the roadway below. Yeah, this is a live image. You can see where that tow truck is on the highway, has somehow reached up with that arm to release the vehicle that was up on that retention uh, uh, wall and now they're lowering it onto the highway. So when Jacqueline arrived there on the scene as she saw this chase go by the live truck earlier in the afternoon, uh, she captured that on cell phone and we're waiting as crews, we heard the chainsaws going, cleared some of the wooded area away, got those people out of the vehicle and now the a tow truck and the wrecker are here to lower it down onto the interstate so they can get that car out of there. Of course, we'll continue to follow this story as it continues to unfold and bring you the very latest.